So now that we're done with the assembly of the unit, we're going to do some very crucial tests to the unit. We're going to do a positive and negative pressure test. With the positive test, we're going to inhale into the unit, so the unit expands. We're going to hear for or listen for a hissing sound. And for a negative test, we're going to exhale out of the unit, taking the breath out of the unit, creating a vacuum, and again, listening for a hissing sound. So when we do that, I'm just going to open up the mouthpiece, and I'm going to do the negative test first. I'm going to exhale, or I'm going to inhale and get the breath out of the unit creating a vacuum. Then closing the mouthpiece, now I created a vacuum inside the unit. The DSV or the BOV should not sag, there should be no hissing sound. Close to the unit, no it's not, okay. Looks good to me, no expansion, no hissing sound, everything is not sagging, looks good. That's the negative pressure test. Now we're going to do the positive pressure test. It's the other way around. I'm going to exhale into the unit, expanding the counter lungs. And I have an overpressurization valve here, and I'm going to do it in both positions, in the open and the close. At the same time, I'm going to test the overpressurization valve. So I'm going to open it up, inhale into the unit, exhale into the unit. I hear it blowing, that's good. And with the overpressurization valve blowing, closing the mouthpiece, and now I have fully expanded counter lungs. I'm going to feel how they feel, and I'm going to look for a sagging, and I'm going to look for a hissing sound. Looks pretty good. I don't hear anything. It doesn't sag. Stays inflated. That's great. So now I know the water has good and water watertight integrity as I tested with the positive and the negative pressure test, I tested all the O-rings. When I jump in the water with that unit now, I will know that the unit is watertight. All right, now that we did the positive and negative pressure test on the unit, we're going to fire up the unit and uh, start breathing on the unit to make sure and assure that the electronics are working fine and the electronics can actually hold a PO2 in the unit. Make sure the unit is breathing easily and then we are ready, pack it up for diving. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slowly opening up the tank valves, slowly, in particular the oxygen tank and valve is going to be opened up slowly. I open up the dill completely and the oxygen tank half. I'm going to wake up the electronics, they're sleeping. Yeah. Looking at my uh, PO2 here, I have 24% now in the unit. I manually inject the oxygen into the unit and manually inject the diluent into the unit to the ADV checking my checkout valves or inline check valves or inline shutoff valves if they are working and checking my inflator deflator and then bringing up the unit to a 0.7 and start breathing for a while on the unit. Make sure it's breathing nicely. It's breathing, breathing nicely. Now I just uh, close the mouthpiece. I'm going to take the handsets and hang them up higher so they're not dangling around and not going to be dragged behind me when I'm transporting the unit. And I'm taking my checklist here once more and make sure that I have the last information for my checkout here. So once I have completed my checklist, I know I have completed all the checks necessary. I'm going to make it ready for transport, which is closing all the tank valves. I'm leaving it on. The electronics are switched on and off inside the head, so I'm not going to take it apart now, but I'm going to pack it up and go diving.